Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I had to wear this for work and now it's like, I don't know. And the camera trying to straighten it is kind of funny, but there we go. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Um, we actually decorate our office for St. Patrick's Day. We have coins and green uh, things on our a countertop and then we have a St. Patrick's Day tree um, basically it's a white Christmas tree we did Valentine's Day tree and we just changed the decorations on it so um, Valentine's we had red and hearts and flowers on it and this time we had a little green top hat for the topper and some little uh, <clears throat> shamrocks and some green fake flowers on there so um, yeah we do <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of fun it is kind of fun um all right in the chapel the patient in spirit is better than the proud of spirit ecclesiastes 7 8 um it's been a full moon it's been a crazy two weeks and i am just trying to take a breath and just <sighs> be patient it will all work out in god's time so I don't have a whole lot of crochet. The first thing that I have, and it's the one thing that I was working diligently on, is I have a friend, and they became friends when they purchased Storm, the horse from us. Uh, when Storm went to Louisiana, Ross rides her now, and Ross's big brother is having his first baby, which makes Stacy and Joe first time grandma and grandpas. So I made this blanket. Um, it is blues. It looks about like the ocean. It's kind of muted type blue. But, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're having a boy or a girl. And if a girl can wear blue jeans and pearls together, this blanket can be for a boy or a girl. Um, the other thing I am doing is, this is a made gift bag for them. I just whipped it up real quick. Um... She's also a cancer survivor, so she can use a bag or she can re-gift in it or she can do whatever. Uh, <clears throat> I put a, I'm gonna, going to put a note in here that says, please reuse the bag, the gift bag, any way you see fit. So it can hold diapers, it can hold stuff in her car, it can hold bottles, it can hold, it's a pretty good size little bag. So it can hold anything and it can be a baby accessory bag or it can be um another gift bag if they are going to give the gift a gift away so they'll do whatever they want with that so i work diligently on that um i did not until just now i put this in time out because i need to get that done okay and i had some other things that i did but they're not crochet and i'll tell you about them here in a minute so I did this and I now that I've pulled it out I kind of like the color so um, I might just make it longer here but other than that I'm really liking it so I probably will leave that collar I hadn't made a decision until well basically just now so <laughs> um, I probably will be finishing this one up and that'll be the last you see of it so I'll get the collar done and that's it I do have two ends to we to weave in and then it's finished and off the hook. Uh, the only other thing that I worked on, and sadly I only did like two rows. I need to start the other side so that I can make them matching. But I have this, and it is purple. It's showing up gray here in the camera, of course. But it's the purple one that I'm making. That's a form-fitted little sweater. So, anyway... I did do two rows on that and that is all so that is all the crochet that I have um, at this moment that's all I have worked on now um, RJ we're kind of going to skip around here because if I don't tell you I'll forget RJ went to Florida <clears throat> won a little money it wasn't enough to cover the expenses of the trip uh, him and his friend had a heart-to-heart RJ is not going to be traveling with them much longer. He's got one that they entered in Alabama this week. I believe Montgomery, Alabama. I don't remember. 
anyway, he's going that way, and then he's got one in Texas. But the problem is, is that one of the gentlemen, and it's not a problem, it's just a mindset. He doesn't have to watch his pennies, and RJ does. And so, RJ actually, the dogs are fussing underneath me. Hey, 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 guys, you're moving the camera. Hitch, worm, quick. So, um, they took, RJ put pen to paper and showed them that he could have traveled by himself in his truck because he gets better gas mileage than him. It wouldn't have cost him as much than traveling with them. So, he still wouldn't have made any money. Um, he would have, he didn't break even with expenses and then what he won wasn't enough to break even. So, he's lear he's learned that lesson before but he thought he'd try it again. You don't have to travel far to make the same amount of money and that's the issue. Um, he needs to keep his expenses down. He's still young. The other gentleman is 10 to 12 years older than him, has already got his life set, you know, and, and, and is able to not have to watch those pennies so much. So he talked to him and they'll be going to Alabama and Texas and then he doesn't think he's going to travel with them much anymore. Um, just because if you've got two that don't have to watch their money, they eat at expensive places, um, RJ can't do that. He takes a cooler. Hey guys, come on now. The dogs are excited to see each other. I've been at work, so hence the uniform and the lovely hair thing. Hey, easy. They do this every time that they get back together like they haven't seen each other in months. It's only been a few hours. Anyway, so he's trying to balance that. He takes a cooler. They eat out. He can't afford to eat out all the time. They don't want to eat out of a cooler all the time. So he's figuring it out. Okay, uh, but he did okay. Didn't break even on the expenses or anything, but he did okay. And he is traveling to Alabama, and then he's, that's this week. I don't remember what day he told me he was going to Texas. So he's going down to Texas, I want to say next week maybe? I don't remember. Um, we text all the time. I don't stop and ask him, hey, what state are you in again? So, it is what it is. But, I also did, um, you know that my work has been crazy. If you watched last week, um, I told you about the new phone system. So, I wasn't off on Tuesday because of it. We installed it, got it going. It's had a lot of glitches. Everything that could have gone crazy went crazy. We were left with uh, facts. We do a lot of business by facts. Um, we do email. Pharmacies don't all have access to email. Um, your online ones don't utilize email like we do. Um, they only have supervisors checking those. So if you fax a prescription to say Chewy.com or uh, PetMeds.com, it has to be a supervisor that checks it. So they normally do by fax because those are their texts can go and fill them. They don't have to wait for the supervisor to come in. So yeah, it learning who does what and who has what capability that best suits our clients are is hard. It, it's and we're having to redo the whole thing. So yeah, um, the time in the clock or in the new phone lines was set to Mountain Time. I don't know if it's Mountain Standard Time, Mountain Central Time. I don't know, Mountain Time. We're on Central Standard Time, so the phones weren't opening up at the proper time. And they weren't closing at the proper time. So yeah, that happened. Um, a lot of workarounds, and I don't like that word anymore. Um, I was the primary doing all this stuff on these phone lines, and I had to find workarounds for stuff. And I told the guy yesterday, I said, he's a tech guy and I said you know I don't like that word work around anymore and he goes why and I said because technically it means a temporary solution I said my question is how long are these temporary solutions gonna last I don't know but I'm really tired of having to find them 
And uh, one of the guys told him, he says, well, you find all your workarounds um, is really taking the heat off of IT. And I said, well, I don't want to be IT. I said, I'm trying to serve my customers and finding a workaround is the best way I can do that. So I said, I need you guys to take it serious and do what we need you to do because I'm tired of finding workarounds. Anyway, that has been a whole thing. We had two days to get the phones up and running. It has been two weeks. I just got the last girl trained today as I, hence I'm at work. Um, and she kind of has it, but we can, I can walk her through anything. So I'm doing a lot of stuff by phone at home. Told my boss, I said, I want to race. <laughs> she said, if I had my choice, I would. I said, okay. So it is what it is. That's just the way life goes. So I've been doing that. But the other thing I, I had to stop and do, I did some mending this weekend for a friend. And while I was at it, so the Humane Society is having a fundraiser. And I had made a shrug that I thought I'd use for one thing and then I didn't. And it's the blue shrug that I made. I thought I was going to give it to my daughter for Christmas. And then I made her something different. And so it's just been sitting there. And it has a scarf that goes around the neck too. Or you can use it and tie it up in your hair. Well, um, I uh, made that. And I was going to let them borrow my stand to display it on. Well, they couldn't guarantee me that it would come back to me. They said, what if the whoever buys it takes the stand too? I said, no, that's an expensive stand. I have two of them, a match set. And if I do anything for display, which um, the farmer's market shop told me I could have a, a shelf there, I was gonna use them there. And so I said, if it doesn't come back to me, that's expensive and I, I can't afford to just let that go. And they said, well, we'll think on it. Well, I came home and I was like, yeah, you're not going to think on it. You know, you, you're overwhelmed with all the other stuff. And so I needed a way to display it so that it would look pretty and it's going to be in a silent auction and all that stuff. So I made a covered hanger. And if I can find the picture of the blue shrug, I will put include that. But I'll show you the hanger that I made. And I literally just covered a plastic hanger with a, a plaid fabric, put a cam snap on it so it could be removed. And then to ensure that the shrug wouldn't slip off, I made little button rosettes. I don't know if you've seen those. They're super simple. They're just a circle. You stitch around the edge, pull it tight, and hot glue a button on there. I made three of those, one at the top just as a look pretty, and then one strategically placed on each side to keep the shrug from falling down and put the shrug on that and then I found a plastic bag that we get our dry cleaning in at the office. I put that over it and I tied it and everybody thinks it just looks beautiful. So that is how it will be displayed is on a hanger hanging um, with the hanger that I made and they can have the hanger. If I get the hanger back, fine. If I don't, it, it's a plastic hanger. You get 18 of them at Walmart for I don't know, three bucks. So, um, if I can find those two pictures, I will put them in right here. All right, hopefully you saw those pictures. No guarantees at this point. Um, I did go look for the clasps that I want to use for these so that it'll match that. Didn't find them. I will have to shop online. I want the kind that I can slide over this and then it'll clamp down over that knot. And then I can trim this and hide all of this and then have a closure on it. So I want the little gold baubles that I guess would be, I guess they'd go over a bead real well. But I don't know. I'm going to do that. Haven't really worked on this very much, but I'm going to finish it too. Um, now that my life has kind of calmed down and the phones are somewhat under control and I have all those workarounds for everything. Um, and when I say workaround, we were left without a fax. So um, a lot of our work is by fax and that left issues. So 
yeah anyway that really is all I have I've gotten the stuff ready for the fundraiser I am the more I look at this I might play with putting one or two more um, swoops on it to make color a little longer but other than that that's done and I oh I forgot one thing that I did that's fibery fun give me two seconds to go get it okay so I did take a little bit of time the other day for me because I just was stressed and needed <laughs> fiber makes me happy so yeah I took this domestic wool that I have I've already spun the Romney top and the heritage whatever it was and this is the domestic wool and so I divided it into eight ounce balls I don't know if you can see that right there it is soft and lofty and I love this so um, yeah I'm gonna spin that up I divided it into the balls but while I was doing that I found some fiber that you can definitely tell this is some fiber that I did when we first started and it's probably the fiber that we learned on but I had it in two ounce bats and I carded it up a little bit more and so this right here has greens and blues in it and then it goes to a solid blues and whites then this one goes to blues and whites and it's got a layer of this pink purpley in it and then this one has the pinks and purples so I'm going to spin them in that way now the other thing that I will have to do because this is some of the very first wool that we washed and you can tell I don't think I got all the lanolin out of it it feels a little bit I don't want to say sticky because it's not sticky I mean it just you can just still feel a little lanolin in it my hands are dry so I'm gonna spin this up and it'll wash it'll all wash out when I wash the yarn okay so this RJ and I did that back probably when he was 15 he's 23 so yeah it's been sitting around and I hadn't done anything with it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna spin that up so I'm gonna start spinning that and I think I'll be okay with it <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with the yarn so there's about six to eight ounces there just give or take I didn't weigh it I just am guessing so um, yeah I'm gonna spin that and I'm gonna spin this and we'll go from there but I just need my life to calm down a little bit so that I have more time and I did get the baby blanket done and I'll get that in the mail um, this weekend and then of course this poncho is done I'll get the ends wove in and I will get my display ready for um, the farmers market and then I'm gonna go down and talk to her Tuesday I have all day Tuesday off I believe I say that if nothing goes wrong with the phones I think I have all day Tuesday off if not I should have Thursday off so um, it is what it is I just have to get through tomorrow Friday and then I have the weekend so yeah but I will go down and talk to the shop owner and it's a brick-and-mortar farmers market and they do everything on I don't know if they do it by consignment or how they do that but we'll see I'm gonna talk to her and I will I have two pieces that I'm gonna set up on my stands of course this one will have the picture with it it depends so we'll see how it goes all right uh, other than that I think I'm good the baby blanket that I want to start on that purple thing I'll probably start on it and then I'm gonna start back with some spinning and we'll go from there uh, if I don't like the way this is what I told RJ he asked me he goes what do you do if you don't like the way it worked up because of the colors and stuff in it I said I'm gonna over dye it <laughs> he just started laughing he goes what color I said probably purple <laughs> he just laughed at me he goes okay <laughs> so maybe reds who knows um, but we'll go from there and see what it can make it'll probably make it at least a hat and maybe a scarf or something or you know a cowl and a hat that matches or you know uh, those ear warmers seem to be really popular this year so we'll go with it and see what we get and if I have to over dye it I have to over dye it if I don't like the way it goes that's what's gonna happen so all right I think that's all I really have 
RJ is headed to Texas. No. He's headed to Alabama first and then Texas. So we'll see how that goes. And me, I'm just going to hang out. I got some dishes to do, my bed to make because I woke up late, late, late this morning. I had 15 minutes to get dressed, comb my hair, and out the door. Well, thank goodness I had to wear this at work because it pulled my hair back. It's all wind blown anyway. The wind's terrible. So, uh, yeah, I literally threw my stuff on, a little deodorant, and out the door I went. Grabbed my dog and left. <laughs> so, I've got some dishes to do. Got to go make my bed. Um, I think I have a little laundry to do, but I don't know. It, I did some Tuesday, so I really don't have that much. I have the clothes that I had on Tuesday, and then I had Wednesday's clothes. And I will strip out of this, and so I'll have it. But it, these little uh, things don't take up that much space, and I only wear these when it's cold, and in the mornings it's cold, and then I normally take it off halfway through the day. So we will see how it goes. Um, but like I said, I'm going to get my chores done, then I'm going to kick back and relax and either work on that purple thing or some spinning. So, and I still have that gray on, on Miss Kitty. I need to get it off, but I haven't been pushing for it. Maybe I'll do that, get it off the wheel. <laughs> Who knows? I have a ton of things to get done and not enough leisure time to do them. So, but this weekend I'll have some leisure time. So, uh, the other thing is, is that I don't know if I mentioned it last week but we got a new to us used couch i think i have the old couch and love seat sold i just i don't want to have to pay to have somebody call them off so i put them on facebook marketplace and i've had an offer and we'll see if they come get it saturday hopefully they will because if that happens i will have a place to set up my big walking wheel yeah right now I set it up and take it down if I decide to use it for anything and so I'm not using it because it is something you have to it, it's work okay it's huge and it's work but yeah if I can get that couch and that love seat out of there I have a place for Big Bertha and I really like that thought so all right I'm gonna get off of here sorry this is all over the place pray RJ does well and give him good vibes and um, me, I'm just like, get the phones working. Get the phones at the office working. That's my big thing that I want done. So, <laughs> all right. I will talk to y'all later. You have a great week and happy St. Patrick's Day.